Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. I'm sitting inside a 2018 Ford F-150 V8 with 67,000 miles. Customer complaint is check engine lights on and at idle it runs rough. There's a misfire. So um, this shop here has been working on it and the problem keeps coming back. So let's go over the history, what they've done so far and what we're going to do to diagnose this issue. So the one trouble code that they've been chasing from, from the very beginning when this problem started is this P21CF0068 cylinder number one injector B open circuit. Kind of an interesting code. Why injector B? Well, these engines have two fuel injection systems. The high pressure direct injected system and a regular port injected system to clean the intake valves from getting carboned up. The so Toyota does this, I guess Ford integrated this system um, in these later trucks. So we have to be very careful here. What is injector B? Is that the direct injector or the port injector? Um, let me tell you what the mechanic told me here and we'll see where this goes. So I talked to um, the technician here who was working on this truck and he said first he felt the misfire, identified as cylinder number one. First thing he did, move the coil, ignition coil. Okay, didn't change, stayed on cylinder one. He took the spark plug out and he said it was really fouled, black, so he changed all the spark plugs, didn't fix it. Then he changed the injector, the port injector, because he didn't know he had two sets of injectors. Okay, didn't fix it. Then he took off the intake manifold and changed the direct injector and apparently did some relearn and the truck was fine for almost two weeks and then this exact same code came back. So now it's in our hands. Now let's actually do some research here instead of you know going by your gut feeling because we need information. There's two sets of injectors. We need to know exactly which um, injector this code is referring to and then see if we can do the checks and see why this code is setting. It's apparently it's a hard fault so it's broken right now so it shouldn't be too hard to find a hard you know electrical fault. Alright let's do some research on all data. P21CF cylinder 1 injector B circuit open it's either the power circuit is open, injector one circuit's open, damaged fuel injector, damaged PCM. Okay, it says go to pinpoint test KG. And pinpoint test KG, so it says fuel injector, injector relay, harness circuits, PCM, so apparently there's a relay. And it just walks you through checks for short to voltage, short to ground, resistance, blah, 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 blah. Guys, this is not the most efficient way to do this. We need a wiring diagram. So, in the OE diagrams, there are two pages that have to do with fuel injectors. This is one of the pages. As you can see, the injectors are labeled 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, etc. And both wires go to the PCM. Now, if you know a little bit about circuit design, direct injectors, both the power and ground side, are switched by the engine computer. So the A injectors look like the direct injectors. Now the next page right here, fuel injector 1B, 2B, 3B, this looks like a classic port um, setup where there's a power feed coming from you know relay or fuse or whatever and then each injector is just ground side switched by the PCM. The code is setting for fuel injector 1B that is the port injector. That actually makes me happy because those are easy to get to. They're not buried under the intake manifold. Let's verify wiring colors, identify the correct cylinder. So you want to know which, which is cylinder number one here. And on Fords, they label them one, two, three, four. This is the passenger side, that's the crankshaft. And then five, six, seven, eight is the driver side. So we're looking at passenger side, front cylinder, and that wiring color should be a blue and the green to injector 1B. Alright, so passenger's side bank. These are the four port injectors. Sure enough, we have a blue 
and a green wire. That's injector number one. So I think that's the one they replaced. Injector number two, three, and four. So perfect, we have great access. What I want to do right off the bat is hook up an oscilloscope to the control wire. So let's do injector numbers one and two. Start the truck, run it, and see what the control voltages are on these two injectors. Are we missing a power feed? Is the PCM not grounding that circuit? Who knows? Uh, PCM is right here. So it goes from the injector through this harness to the PCM. So, and then the other injectors are working fine apparently. So the problem is going to be somewhere in here. Hopefully we can track this down pretty quickly. All right guys, this is ridiculous. First thing I check, especially after someone's been messing with injectors or any electrical component, is pin fitment. So you want to get a known good connector from an injector that hasn't been messed with and just pick an appropriate probe to check the drag. So this little fine needle does have some drag on both pins. Pretty light, but it has some drag. Well, injector number one spread wide open, zero drag whatsoever. Here's a fatter needle. On injector number two, it doesn't even fit in. I'm not going to force it in. On injector number one, it fits in with a little bit of drag. Okay? So this connector is definitely spread compared to number two. What do we do in this case? Should we just tighten up the pins, clear the codes, and run it? And it'll be fixed? That's the first thing I would try. Why not try the easiest thing first? So I showed the uh, technician here that we're going after number one port injector and the pins are spread wide open. And he said the only thing he stuck in there was a Noid light. So perhaps those pins were too fat compared to the injector pins, but um, you just gotta take this lock, little lock out. Let me extract the pins and we'll squeeze them um, back into shape, do that drag check. Hopefully this thing should be fixed. So these pins, you have to be very delicate. You can actually use the needle probe to drag check and to fix the pin. So once you extract it, there's just a little tab, pull the pin out, and as you can see, it's there's no spring at all right now. So you have to come in from the top and gently try to push that spring back down from the top and that's all it takes. Now we have great drag. It took a second. You guys see that on camera? See? It's dragging. Boom. So let's put this one back in. Extract the other one. This is a more common fault than a wire rub through, for example. You know, if it was a GM and it was old, then that would be a higher possibility. Again, no drag at all. Come in from the top, hook that little spring, and just push in, bend it back down. Look at that. Nice drag. That's all it takes. So we'll put this one back in too. Click. Put the retainer back in. Click. Plug everything in. Clear out the codes and see if it's good. All right, so keys on. Let's just clear DTCs. There's one right rear turn indicator. Okay, let's just clear them out. All right, let's fire it up. Seems to rev up smoothly. Now in the PCM, I want to see, is there an injector mode? Like is it using port injectors or direct injectors?
feels slightly shaky. Let's get in here and see what's going on. Alright, so no memory codes. That's good. Let's go to data stream. Let's see if there's an injector mode data pin. So I just search for INJ. Cylinder 1 says these are injector B 1 through 8, and then injectors 1 through 8. That, that must be the direct injectors. Let's just look at all these data pids. So no error for number 1, that's good. No error anywhere at all. 14.5 percentage of total fuel lines delivered by direct injection command. So PFI only, that must be port fuel injection only. Let's drive it around and look at this data pin. 0% of total fuel mass is delivered by direct injection. Oh look, see right there, it says both. And this is port only. Great. So it's not misfiring at idle. Type in injector. Let's unselect all. We're just interested in this stuff right here. Yeah, let's take it for a spin. This thing rips pretty good. There's a little bit of a knock, sounds like. It's a little weird, but... Yeah, everything looks fine. Alright, after the test drive, no trouble code set. So I think that's it for this Ford. Um, what's the takeaway on modern cars? Well, on any any vehicle, you have to do the research before before anything. If you have a code, do the research. So uh, you know, on this truck, a direct injector was replaced unnecessarily. A port injector may or that may have been a problem, but during the process, the connector pins are spread. And the, pr the same code came back. So, you know, did this truck go to another shop first for whatever reason? Unclear when the pins were spread. But in this case, that was the no parts required five minute fix, just tightening up a couple terminals. And hopefully, this truck will stay running smoothly. That's it for this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.